This video is going to be about the definition of permutations. So permutations are going to come up a bit in our work to define um, sizes of sets. Uh, this is going to help us define a more general class of sets um, for which we might be interested in the size. So we'll start with a definition, then we'll give two examples, then we'll give a practice problem for you to work on your own, and then we'll close out this video with the definition of sampling with replacement and the definition of sampling without replacement. Um, in an effort to kind of foreshadow some topics to come in a future video. So we'll start with a definition. A permutation is an ordered arrangement of elements into a sequence of length k where there are n elements to choose from. Okay, so we're going to take a, a set of things of n elements, a set of n elements, and we're going to order them in some sequence of length k. And k necessarily has to be um, less than or equal to n, because you can't order a sequence into a length longer than you have elements. So let's just do a quick example. We'll start out with a simple set, um, E, F, and G. And so a permutation is E, F. That is a permutation from the set A of length K equals to two. Okay, here is another, F, E. That is different from the first because here we are going to say order is important. Okay, another G E or G F or F G. Okay, all of these are permutations. What we are interested in is how many possible permutations are there? Things like how many possible permutations with no repeats of length three are there. So the way I want you to think about this is there are three positions to be filled for an ordered sequence, and you can choose from E, F, or G for the first one. So that is three options. Notice we're just kind of using the multiplication rule. And in the second position, there are now two options because there are no repeats. And in the third position then, there's only one option left because there's no repeats, and we have thus exhausted two of the first elements. So there are six permutations possible from three elements taken three at a time. So we're going to use this right here to define something new for us. Just some shorthand. Definition of factorial. The factorial of an integer 
n is defined as n exclamation point. And that's equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times all the way down to 1. Or, of course, you could do everybody's favorite definition. <laughs> okay, that's not everybody's favorite definition, but hopefully you get the idea. I'll write it out in LaTeX. So the factorial is essentially just multiplying together all of the integers from the argument to the exclamation point all the way down to 1. And note, we define 0 factorial to be equal to 1. That is just by definition. That is a choice we have made in the world of mathematics. So we're going to use this factorial to help us um, count permutations. Okay, so let's move on to example two. Let's let B be the set of English letters. So we'll say using elements of B, that is, cardinality of B is 26. How many permutations with no repeats of length K are there? Okay, so we know that there's 26 elements in the English alphabet. So we could imagine this is like 26 times 25 times 24 times 26 minus k minus 1. Now the trick here is to see this. Twenty six factorial divided by, and then we'll write this as twenty six minus k factorial. And you see what will happen based on the definition of the factorial is all these extra elements that would have otherwise shown up here will just get canceled out. Everything below this is going to get canceled out, and you're only left with the ones of interest. So we can, in fact, generalize this. And you see I'm already starting to generalize this for some value k that I haven't even specified. Now, if you want to try this out on your own, I encourage you to go pick some value k and make it relatively easy so you can work out the math yourself. And then make sure this all holds. But we're going to generalize this such that we have some set S, which has cardinality N. And we want using elements of S, how many permutations with no repeats of length k are there. This is why I'm saying it's a generalization, because I'm not telling you what number, what the number n is, and I'm not telling you what the number k is. So we write this out as n factorial divided by n minus k factorial, which you might have already seen coming based on the last um, example. And some people, I 
generally don't use this notation, but some people write this out as little n, capital P, little k. And we read this as the number of permutations of n elements taken k at a time. So this is our definition of permutations, or this is at least the calculation to figure out the number of permutations of from a set consisting of n elements, where we're interested in sequence of sequences of length k. Okay, so I'll just give you a practice problem then. practice problem is going to go like this. How many ways can a president, a vice president, a secretary, and a treasurer be selected from a group of 10 people. I'll let you answer that one on your own. And we'll move on to some definitions that will end this video and foreshadow the next video to come. Sampling without replacement. occurs when an element is not replaced after it has been selected from a set. So essentially, every time I said no repeats in the previous examples of this video, what I was essentially saying was sample without replacement. If you cannot repeat a letter, then you have, once selected out from the original set, you have not replaced that element. Because if you were to have replaced the element, repeats would be allowed. So we call that sampling without replacement. And you might get the idea here that there is also sampling with replacement, which occurs, how many C's are in occurs? When an element is replaced, after it has been selected from a set. A really quick example of sampling with replacement is a single die. Say you roll a die and get a five. If you roll that same die again, that five is still a face on the die. It's not like you have taken the five out of the set of possible values from your next roll. So a die is an example of sampling with replacement, and so is a coin flip. 
But the examples I gave you in this video are sampling without replacement because repeats are not allowed.